Scripture says, He that dwells, this is Psalm 91, rather than be afraid in this season and in the season we are entering, rather than give attention to fear, this is what I will suggest you do. The word of the Lord is complete, the word of the Lord is sure. He says in Psalm 91, I read, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover me with his feathers and under his wings I will trust his truth shall be my shield and buckler you see I shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flies by day not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, not for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high my habitation there shall no evil be for me neither shall any plague come near my dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways they shall bear me up in their hands lest i dash my foot against a stone i shall tread upon the lion and adder the young lion and the dragon I would trample under feet because I have set my love upon him therefore he will deliver me because I have set him on eye because I have known his name when I call upon him in trouble he will answer me he will be with me in trouble 
He will deliver me and honor me. With long life, He will satisfy me and show me salvation. I will read the same verse or this same chapter in the message version. And I want you, I mean, remembering now, I remember we had to learn this psalm from when we were young. And probably when we were learning it, we didn't understand what we were doing. We we're just reading it. But when you think about the words, they're so short. And somehow reading this over time has built some level of faith in us, in me. If the Lord doesn't keep me, who can? Scripture says, except the Lord build, except the Lord watches over, who can watch? So I advise you, rather than be afraid in these times, hear the word of the Lord and follow the word of the Lord. He says, you who sit down in the high, God's presence, spend the night in Shaddai's shadow. Say this of yourself. God you are my refuge. I trust in you. I'm safe. That's right. You can say that. He rescues you from hidden traps. Shields you from deadly hazards. His huge outstretched arms protect you. Under them, you are perfectly safe. His arms fend off all harm. Fear nothing, not wild wolves in the night, not flying arrows in the day, not disease that prowls through the darkness, not disaster that erupts at high noon, even though others succumb around you, even though others succumb all around you, even those others drop like flies right and left, no harm will even graze you. You will stand on touch. Watch it all from a distance. Watch the wicked turn into corpses. Yes, because God's your refuge. The high God, your very own home. Evil can't cl come close to you. Harm can't get close through the door. He ordered his angels to guard you wherever you go. If you stumble, they will catch you. Their job is to keep you from falling. You walk unharmed among lions and snakes and kick long lions and serpents from the path. If you hold on to me for dear life, says God, I'll get you out of any trouble. I'll give you the best of care. If you only get to know and trust me, call me and I'll answer you. I'll be at your side in bad times. I'll rescue you, then throw you a party, and I'll give you a long life. I'll give you a long drink of salvation. This is the word of the Lord. I have been a recipient of songs of deliverance. When I'm in tough times, the Lord just sends songs some are new, some are songs that I've sang in the past. Some are songs I can't even remember. He will bring them to my remembrance and make me sing them over myself, not even knowing what I'm doing. So I advise you, my brothers and sisters, rather than be afraid, say of the Lord that is your refuge and your fortress. Say of him that you will trust him. I say to you, if you don't trust him, I don't know what else you trust. I don't know what else you can trust in this failing world. In this world that's not making sense. The only one that is sure, that has been sure, that will be sure, forever sure, is God. So I'll advise. If you don't know him, you give yourself to him. And if you already know him, don't live in fear. Engage him and engage every provision he has made for you. 
engage every provision he has made for you oh you are Thank you, Jesus. Amen.